Ugh, ads are such poop. Subscribe to ACAST Plus now to skip ads and more for just $1 a month. Click the link in our show notes to learn how. And hey, we're on Patreon too. Your support helps cover the cost of running a podcast. For $2 a month, you can get early access to all our episodes ad-free, plus bonus episodes exclusive to Patreon subscribers only. Visit patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse to sign up now. Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys. We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you remember what happened on Friday? God was blathering about some bullshit about behemoths and, uh, I don't fucking know. He's not answering a goddamn thing. He's just going on and on and on. He's deflecting. Yeah, a lot. He's like, I don't have to answer the likes of you, human. It's bullshit is what it is. It really is bullshit. Or behemoth shit, I think I said. (laughs) Yeah, you did. (laughs) I forgot about that. So anyway, that was Job chapter 40. Sure as fuck was. And today we're going to be reading... Job chapter 41. We're almost done. All right, let's go do this. Okie dokie. Okay, Job chapter 41. Okay. And on our break, I was annoying husband by singing the Candyman... Because it reminded me of, um, okay, when Job, or when God was talking to Job and he was like, did you do this? Do you do that? Did you do this? Can you do that? Right. And it just made me think of who could take the sunshine. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like Candyman can. Right. You right. Know? Or God. Candyman or God. Yeah. Can fuck with behemoths and rainbows. Okay. Okay, that's all. Which is, yeah, okay. okay. I, I guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I won't sing anymore because I already tortured you on the break. You did. You I did. did. Okay. Can you pull in Leviathan with a fish hook or tie his tongue with rope? <laughs> <laughs> I almost sang it when I did and I, I pulled it back. Yeah, yeah. Can you put a cord through its nose or pierce its jaw with a hook? <laughs> Will it keep begging you for mercy? Is that what it says? Will we speak to Oh my you God. I can't do this. I can't do this. Words. What the fuck are you doing? I'm reading this Bible, but to the tune of the Candyman because uh, it's that ridiculous. Yeah, but Will I, it speak to you with gentle words? Um, No, probably not. Will it make an agreement with you for you to take it as your slave for life? <laughs> Will it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you make a pet of it like a bird or put it on a leash for the young women in your house? Um, why would you want to do that? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> the candy man love. Can. <laughs> Will traders barter for it? Doubt it. Will they divide it up among the merchants? What is this? What does any of this fucking matter? That's why I was singing. Oh. Now you get it. Okay. Can you fill its hide with harpoons? I. Or its head with fishing spears? <laughs> You gotta stop. I can't help it. It's it keeps spitting the oh song. Oh my god! If you lay a hand on it, you'll remember the struggle and never do it again. Yeah, that's what it says. I'm sure that's true. Any hope of subduing it is false. The mere sight of it is overpowering. Oh, wow, the mere sight, huh? Husband, turn your eyes away. It's <laughs> overpowering. <laughs> Much like my lovely singing voice. <laughs> no one is fierce enough to rouse it. Who then is able to stand against me? (laughs) Candyman can. (laughs) Who has a claim against me Uh, that I must pay? (laughs) See? I can't help it. Yeah, no, it's it's right there. Yeah, totally. It was meant to be done under the Candyman can. Everything under heaven belongs to me because the Candyman can. Okay, yeah. I will not fail to speak of Leviathan's limbs. Its strength and its graceful form. He won't fail to speak of it. 
who can strip off its outer coat? <laughs> <laughs> Who can penetrate this double we, coat of armor? We've lost like 90% of our audience by now. <laughs> I, look, they're along for the ride. They know me by now. now yeah, well, no. Give I me know. an inch and I will fucking take that mile. Yeah, that's true. Who dares open the doors of its mouth? Ringed about with fearsome teeth. <laughs> <laughs> its back has rows of shields. Tightly shields? Shields. The fuck's a big old fish doing with shields for a bag? More than one. Wow. <laughs> Multiple shields. Who, I wonder who crafted the shields. I guess God did. He or did, was it the king? He dipped it in love. <laughs> Tightly sealed together. Uh, yeah. Each is so close to the next that no air can pass between. Mm, okay. They are joined fast to one another. They cling together and cannot be parted. It's snorting. <laughs> throws out flashes of light. Mm. Its eyes are like the rays of dawn. Damn. Flames stream from its mouth. Sparks of fire shoot out. This guy sounds pretty vicious. Smoke pours from its nostrils as from a boiling pot over burning reeds. Mm. Throughout a burning pot on a stove. I, I mean, don't burn reeds. Yeah, there's not a lot of burning reeds anymore. Except maybe in churches? Maybe. Question mark? Right. Its breath Sets coals ablaze. So does yours Damn. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and flames dart from its mouth. That's me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Strength resides in its neck. Dismay goes before it. Okay. The folds of its flesh are tightly joined. They are firm and immovable. That's great. Don't be moving that, Mervin. Don't be moving that flesh. Right. Yeah. Its chest is hard as rock. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hard as a lower millstone. Mil as a what? Millstone. millstone. Lower, a lower millstone. A lower millstone. As opposed to an upper the, one. Yeah, the, not the upper ones, but the lower ones. Right. Okay. When it rises up, the mighty are terrified. Okay. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they mighty are mouse. terrified. Mighty Mouse. That's probably terrified, too. Yeah. 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 They retreat before it's thrashing. Hmm. Okay. The sword that reaches it has no effect, nor does the spear or the dart or the javelin. But they might try the shot put. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or like a nuke or something, you know? Tank. You know? I'm just saying they didn't have some of these things back then. So AK. Be worth a shot. Iron, it treats like straw and bronze like rotten wood. That's funny. It can handle iron, but God can't. <laughs> Interesting. Depends on which god you're talking about, of course. Right. Yeah. Arrows do not make it flee. Sling stones are like chaff, chaff, chaff to it. So David would have a hell of a time with this guy. Yeah. Yeah. With their tanks and their bombs and their bombs and their guns. <laughs> a club seems to be but a piece of straw. It mm. laughs, laughs at the rattling of the lance. Why are we giving... what? This is like, we're supposed to be getting an answer here, right? Like, there, there, there is literally no answer for Job. But if you describe um, Beowulf instead, then <laughs> you're like, look away, look away. Yeah. What was your question again? Never mind. Its undersides are jagged pot herds. Pot, pot herds. Pot shirts, pots herds. Pot, what is it? Pot, pot. Pot shirts. Pot shirts. Pot shirts. Pot shirts. Pot shirts. I'd say, I'd say pot shirts. What's pot shirt? But they're jagged, whatever know. they are, leaving a trail in the mud like a threshing sledge. I like that. The threshing sledge. Yeah. I'm going to name my next song that. Okay. It may, That sounds like a Screamo song, though. The pot right? shirt is a broken piece of ceramic material, oh. especially one found in an archeolo archaeological site. So they could have just said a shard. Yeah. A broken piece of pot, which is a shard. Right. But they called it a shard. Right. And if you do a fart that's not what you think it is, then it's a shard. <laughs> there's there's the pronunciation for you. Pot shard. Pot shard. Instead of pot shard. Right. Stupid. It makes the depths churn like a boiling cauldron and stirs up the sea like a pot of ointment. A pot of ointment? Ointment. Ointment. I don't stir ointment that often. I don't know what that's like. Well. Do they have a lot? 
Like it, ointments are mostly in little plastic tubes nowadays, so yeah, it's not very but, relevant to us. But they would have come in little, like an unjoint, an un unjoint. <laughs> what are those called? Hold on. Okay. Um, I love it when you don't really know what you're talking about. No, it's a word. <laughs> I've just never said it out loud before, so okay. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Unjoint. Yeah. Okay. Is it unjoint or unjoint? I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. It ain't an onion. It ain't an onion. It leaves a glistening wake behind it. One would think the deep had white hair. That's okay. what one would think. That's not what I would think. Nothing on earth is its equal. A creature Except without fear. maybe the behemoth. But it's a creature without fear. It looks down on all that are haughty. Haughty? I have to say it that way so you don't think I'm saying haughty. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. Haughty. Got it. It is king over all that are proud. The end. But not the ones who are not proud? No. It's not king over those, okay? No. What? That's, I mean, you know. I, I, don't, I still don't understand why we're talking about this fucking thing. Deflect. Yeah, I know, but like, it's it's like the, the story has gone completely out, like, off, completely off track here. Yeah, because look. Like, if God you... enters stage left and he's like, it's like, fuck this story. It's <laughs> like, okay, you come home from work one day and... And you're like, hey, did you, um, here, ask me that question. Did you blah, 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 only fill it in with some um, house chore that you wish I had taken care of during the day did, while you were Did you, you vacuum the floor? Um, let me tell you about my neighbor, Karen, who has a Buddha Trump statue in her rock garden. But what about the floor? Um, also, I mowed the yard and... Oh, my sister called today, and I talked to her a bit. But what about the yard? Uh, the, the 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 did you vacuum the floor? Well, I did um, call the bank, and I took care of some paperwork that we needed to get done, and I refilled um, the water pitcher. Mm, okay. Oh, and I got this really cool new mascara that I can't wait to try, and. Um, I threw away all my earrings because I don't really wear jewelry anymore. So just for and, the record, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about the floor being vacuumed. But if you killed all 10 of my kids, I'm not going to fucking forget about the goddamn <laughs> thing you did. But right, like, that's what it seems like. Like, I'm doing everything but answering your fucking question. You could probably guess that I didn't by the fact that I'm deflecting. I'd be angry at this answer. This is a stupid fucking answer. To It's not even an answer. He's like... He's just... Okay, so, so okay, be Job and say, hey, why'd you kill my kids? Hey, God, why'd you kill my kids? I am strong and, oh, let me tell you about this animal that I'm stronger than. Okay, mm, this yeah. animal is so big and it has all these sharp teeth and it's in the water. Yeah, let me tell you how much I don't give a fuck personally. Oh, okay, so you still want that answer. Well, here's the thing. I'm so strong that there's this other animal, too, that I want to tell you about. Still no fucks to give. Okay. Um, let me just tell you that I'm strong. Mm, my fucks are all gone. And um, the candy man can? Sure. Why not? <laughs> all right. Whatever. We're going on and on about no, this. No, but that's the summary of this No, chapter. I know. I know. It's just bullshit. It's mm -hmm. complete and utter bullshit. Yes. And I'm really pissed off. I know. Because, like, I wanted... God to have this a miraculous answer as to why this was all like, you know, necessary. Right. And you would think being God, you could come up with that fucking answer. Right. You should have that answer. You know, everything. Okay. Here's my thing. Right. Like you're God and you're like, oh, it's too hard for you. Stupid humans. You're God. You can't break it down. It It's too hard for you to break down. Right. You're not very Godish. Right. Yeah. You can't even describe why you did the thing you did. You can't cliff notes that shit? How powerful are you if you cannot use ChatGPT and give me a goddamn summary? Right. Surely he's better than ChatGPT. I would think. He's God. I mean, one would think. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm done. All right. I'm done. So that was Job chapter 41. It sure as fuck was. And tomorrow we're going to be back with the finale, which is... Job chapter 42. And I'm so eager to see how this wraps up. Yeah, I am too, because I'm really disappointed in God right now as far as yeah. his answer in the canon God shit here. Yeah. And, you know, I'm still kind of disappointed in Job for 
for just bowing like he just like, he's you're just right like, you are strong right you sprinkle it with love fuck you joby killed all 10 of your kids don't you you went on and on about it for chapters mm-hmm. and then god shows up and you're like oh shit never mind i give up i'm done fuck you job fuck you job your kids your kids hate you even though they're dead <laughs> oh, okay they're well, fucking pissed i hate you they're turning over in their goddamn grave it's okay? true they are all right anyway that was that that tomorrow was that. will be tomorrow will be something else. <laughs> sure as fuck will. <laughs> we'll see you guys then. Bye. Hey wife, I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my god. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Oh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Surgeons keep our hearts beating. They do the amazing. Help save lives. And so can you. Your CSL Plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines that can give Grandpa the chance for his heart to swell when he meets his new grandson or give a bride the chance for her heart to skip a beat on her wedding day. Every plasma donation helps more than you know. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate today at your local CSL Plasma Center and be rewarded for your generosity.